What's your kind of radar suggesting or, or saying about Mike Babcock and his uh, stature here in Toronto? Yeah, I, I believe he's fine. Uh, I, you know, I'll admit I don't have any inside information from uh, ownership or senior management to state that as a matter of fact or information. Um, I mean, just based on some met- messaging around the Maple Leafs, you know, they seem pretty eager to put this loss behind them and start immediately building and planning for next year and uh, and a better future. And that includes Mike Babcock as as head coach. But, you know, like every team that, that deals with disappointment, there's got to be some tough conversations. I I feel like the blocker in all of this might be Shanahan. You know, so so even if Kyle Dubas is worried about holding back somebody like Sheldon Keefe with the Toronto Mar- Marlies, and maybe, and again, this is just my speculation, Dubas would be okay with a coaching change. I don't know that Shanahan would, and I and I don't know that ownership would, even though many have speculated that you know he's he's just finishing up his fourth full year, and many believe that the the big chunk of the fifty million over the eight year term was paid in the first four years. So. Not that the Toronto Maple Leafs worry about the finances, uh, but, I mean, uh, a good chunk of it's probably already been paid. But I, I, I don't get the sense unless somebody comes in with the big stick and says, no, 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 we, we got to change this, that that's likely to happen. It's it's Although there's there's craziness going on today, any other yeah. organization, like if it was Carolina and a coach came in there and took a, play, uh, took a team that was in 30th, yeah. and brought them to the playoffs three years in a row with 100-plus points, yeah. There would be elation. Yeah. And yeah. and guys, you know, not everybody loves playing for Mike Babcock. We know that. I mean, Pavel Datsuk, Henrik Zetterberg, go down the list of the players that probably, I know they didn't love Babcock. In fact, some of them just flat out hated him. But they played for him, and they played for each other. And so even if there is some kind of sandpaper situations between a star player, whoever it might be, and the head coach. So what? So what? Like, who are you replacing Mike Babcock with that's going to be better? Unless you believe that Sheldon Keefe is too good to let go to another operation. Because he's going to go. I mean, you know, how long is he going to stick around? Even though the Marlies can pay him, the the Maple Leafs as an organization can pay him whatever they want to pay him to keep him. You know, at some point he's going to go, you know what? I appreciate this. The money is great, but I want to be an NHL head coach. And if that's not this off season, then you know maybe it's next year. Yeah. Well, I'm with you. I don't know who would be out there that's better, but I do think Mike Babcock has to change a, a few yeah. things. I think he has to change his approach. Yeah. And I, you know, I wonder how how much weight his his words, his suggestions will hold this off season in terms of the moves that are going to be made, because. You know, he's a very good coach. Yeah. And I said it off the top, be careful what you wish for because this yeah. guy, the inmates don't run the asylum with Mike Babcock here. And right. it was a gong show five years ago. Gong show. And he's cleaned all that up. And there's a lot of yes. value to that. A lot of value. But can he get them over the top with this style of team? The team that Kyle Dubas wants to put on the ice. Right. I don't think he can unless he starts to adjust. And that's what Dubas is, and Shanahan for that matter, are going to have to figure yeah. out. Will he listen to... Any advice? Yeah. Well, and I think he has to. You know, otherwise, if he's unwilling to do that, and I can't believe, like, he's such a student of the game um, that there is going to be some internal reflection. And, you know, he's humble enough to recognize that he makes mistakes. Um, Made mistakes, I'm sure he'd admit to, from last night throughout the series against the Boston Bruins and extended throughout the season. But your point is well made, Brian. It's one thing to admit that you made mistakes internally, and it's another to be confident enough uh, in, in your responsibility to develop a Stanley Cup contender that you're willing to fix it. And, you know, maybe that message has to come from Shanahan or someone above Brendan Shanahan, you know, on the board. I don't know. But it, it, it would be sad if it had to come from somebody like that. And, you know, Mike didn't recognize just based on, you know, his own evaluation that there are things he has to change.